It's, it's, ba it's, Imba, it's Imba, man. It's Imba. When I make StarCraft 2 Chill Edition, motherships will be incredible. StarCraft 2 Chill Edition. Why would you have a unit you can only make one of? It makes no sense. Because it's really good. And by really good, I mean really bad. But in multi <laughs> if you had more <laughs> of them, if you had more right. of them, then you'd be okay. All right. It seems shockingly similar to the Arbiter in Brood War, which was fine. But uh, the Arbiter is just better than the Mothership, though, right? The Arbiter is really good, surely. Yes. Right. And you can make as many of them as you want. Yeah. The sad thing is we've now got into this kind of drunken malaise where we're not that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing about this. The worst thing. All right. Liquid 2, EG1. A lot of people considering Colossus right now, by the looks of it. Machine takes Marauders, as he should. Good choice. Reapers for TLO, though. Plenty of harassment potential there. Someone suggesting Mothership. One Mothership per Nexus. That doesn't make it any better. Bumblebee will use Battlecruiser, it seems. Hux got Infestors. Whoa. One mothership per nexus is genius. Is, that doesn't really delay you all that much. Right. High Temple exactly. off the Muslim again. Interesting. Ends up running into oh, that. Wow. We've still got three players. We've got two liquid and one zealots for Sheth. Good start. Very good. LZ. Wow. Do they have. Oh my god, they've got double High Templar. This is probably just GG right now. <laughs> LZ, what did LZ Gaming get before that? Was it Colossus? It might have been Colossus. I'm not. I don't think Double High Templar is gonna serve them all that well here. I don't know. They are up <laughs> against Zealots and Reapers. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's actually not true. I'm pretty sure you can kill the mothership. You've got to feedback the mothership and then storm it a lot. Oh my god. I'm just seeing the comps. The comps are high not. High Templar, High Templar, Infestor, Marauder. <laughs> it's all on you, Machine. Be the hero. Machine has got to be the hero. But to be fair, like I said, they've either got to focus on one immediately, rush him with Marauders, or cannon. You know, they've got two guys that can cannon rush. Hey. They should do it. Without question. A lot of pinging going. Yep. Yeah, they should cannon rush. The two high Templar users should cannon rush. And uh, they don't even need to do it together. Like, if they want to surely kill someone, you can double cannon rush them. But it, it's actually better to just try to cannon rush two people. Yep. I would, would. Who would I cannon rush? I'd probably cannon rush. Well, Protoss, so Noni. Noni and Chef. Yeah, certainly. The problem is, like, Zealot Reaper, what what are LZ Gamer and Demuslim going to do against that as High Templar users? Well, not a huge amount until they actually get High Templar out. I mean, they, they're just going to have... Right. <laughs> they're just going to die. Someone needs to be crippled. Like, as I said, one needs to be cannon rushed to cripple either the Zealot or the Reaper user. But the problem is, I don't think that... Well, I don't know. Demuslim snuck past. He could go for cannons here, one way or the other. Are we seeing any cannons from LZ Gamer? If I was Bumblebee, I wouldn't even think about going to Battle Cruisers. I would just feed uh, the Zealot user. Yeah. Let him go like six Zealot. And if you get Battle Cruisers out, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, what they're going to do. Yeah, so we do have a. Forge. There we, we have go. A forge from LZ. Demosum's going and... cannons. It's in the base of Bumblebee here, which is. That's a weird decision. Fuck, Cannon and Bumblebee? Really? Or is what it just are these pylons? It? I don't know. No, it, it's three it pylons. doesn't even have a forge. It doesn't have a forge. Is, it, is he... F I think the most... What? I actually have no idea. Now he's picking a forge. Maybe... Did he forget to make a forge? Oh, Jesus. That would be pretty bad. I don't think that was. I don't think he's walled in there. No, he's definitely not. Okay, just double-click those pylons and hit escape. <laughs> Oh dear. Dim I don't know what Demosla was trying to do there, but it certainly didn't work out so well, and this is problematic. TLO being a pain in the ass here. Hux just 
Hulk manages to out-micro him and catch him out there. Machine just looking to wall off here, and these pylons are just going to do precisely nothing. They're, they're utterly pointless, unless they're at least just designed to keep Chef attacking them, as opposed to attacking anything else. Maybe he's afraid, once again, of the possibility of cannons. De Muslim, oh, he's going for it with this probe. He needs to get the regen on that. He doesn't want to change direction. He was about to hit a wall, so he doesn't really have a choice in the matter. Shields are now up again. He could actually, he could get cannons down here. So this is actually pretty good. Right, for... but... Oh, he loses the probe. Only a single okay. cannon goes down. It's not good. Chef cleaning up LZ Gamer here as well. Double failed cannon rush from both sides. Yeah, LZ Gamer got shut down. He's trying to cannon his main base. What the Muslim has nothing in his main base, and the wall of uh, machine is under heavy fire. He's got a Marauder out to try to deal with this. He's getting bunkered by TLO. TLO is the Reaper user. He's got to finish his bunker to get the Reaper in. Oh, he's almost there. But he's... some Zealots are going to Zealots no looking for the flank. Shell. Certainly, there it is. TLO's got that bunker up now, so he can start working on this. Concussive Shell might end up getting denied here, actually, but certainly by a single Reaper. And uh, De Muslim's pylon is just getting taken down here. De Muslim trying to cannon by the looks of it. He's walled himself in this time around, I think, actually. So De Muslim could get a cannon yep. executed on Liquid Chef here. And he's going for it. He's going to have to re-wall it in, and I don't think there's enough space. No, there isn't, and he's actually lost that in the meantime. So De Muslim fails another cannon rush with Chef making his way through there. No problem whatsoever. The aggression here from TLO is looking good. The concussive shell is ready. He did manage to get that out in time without too much of a problem. Machine trying to hold the left flank at the moment. So you know what? I think cheesing isn't as easy as it seems. Like, there is a little bit of skill to cannon rushing. There is, yeah. De Muslim tried side, it, but, but a little the problem is it was too late. I mean, Sheth had a couple of zealots up, so walling in just really wasn't going to help all that much, and Sheth is now in a really good spot. And EG kind of bleeding at this stage. LZ Gamer's trying to, uh, or he has taken the gold, rather, but he's still <laughs> a long way away from getting High Templar out. This is very true. And TLO's starting to work his way through again, and that tech lab's going to go down as well. He'd be able to at least do some damage to this bunker, but EG is in a bit of trouble here. De Muslim just got a cannon. That's all he's going to do at this stage. He doesn't even see the point, but it's not going to work. I mean, I don't see how he could. There's even a Colossus on the way out now, so you know what? A Colossus is pretty good against cannons. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. It's coming out right here from Noni. Did Noni get Colossus again? He actually did. Unbelievable. Yeah, he did. He did. It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's unbelievable. He's incredibly fortunate in this game, but of course, that's all it is about. The Muslim's in a serious amount of trouble here, I think. The Muslim really just, he's only just now building a gateway. He needs to just start being the bank at the moment. <laughs> LZ Gamer Absolutely. Academy. I, I imagine that's what LZ Gamer is doing as well. He's just got cannons. Relying on Marauders. I don't know who he's feeding, though. Maybe Machine? Oh, yeah, Machine's got a, a ton of barracks. <laughs> uh, Huck has finally got up to Infestors. He's trying to get, oh, he has gotten the plus energy. Yep. For his investors, so he's got three out, but he's limited by gas. Doesn't have an expansion yet. He's just starting that middle expansion. Maybe he gets fed. I mean, this at this stage, maybe you just say, "Well, High Templar is kind of going to suck here, so I'm just going right. to feed gas." The, there's cannons coming down here, and the Muslims going to have to try and use these probes to hold up against Sheth's zealots. And the cannon is now up, but he's still going to lose a lot of probes in the process. He can certainly rebuild, but there you go. Sheth's now being thrown back there by the cannons. And Machine's going to go with a push here, backed up by Hux Infestors. There's only three, but if he starts knocking out these tech labs, then that's going to slow TLO right down. Absolutely. And I mean, as it is, the Reapers aren't going to be able to do that much anyway. Uh, how many Colossus are there? We've got Noni uh, three. He's three. also building four more. He's There's no stim available for Machine. Things, that's oh, what I don't like. Once he gets stim, he should be able to actually smash his way through and kill the Colossi, but he hasn't been able to do that just yet. Right. Machine's actually laying it down here on TLO. TLO taking a ton of damage. He can't build anything. He's lost all his tech labs. Really good, really good counter push here by the one and only Machine, backed up by Hux Infestors, who are now just, well, they plunk infest the Terrans down the middle line. TLO's been pretty much gutted in terms of his actual economy. Right. I think the problem here is just Noni with these Colossi. He's got two more on the way, or it looks like three more on the way to add to his three. And EG just don't have an answer for that. They're not Stim. anywhere near High Templar. Yeah, okay. Stim Marauders, maybe. Yeah. He can kill him with Stim but Marauders. investors certainly aren't going to do anything. Well, they will. I mean, he can, he can stop the micro. That's the point. If Puck is actually able to borrow, for instance, which is what he's working on, and he actually fungles those Colossi, then the Marauders can actually kill. 
because the micro of right. Noni is the real strength with those Colossus. And right now, TLO's remaining is actually smashing his way through the expansion of... In fact, is that the only base of LZ Gamer? No, LZ Gamer is over the other side as well. Sheth's working on him too, but there's a lot of cannons to try and fend this attack off. And it's looking pretty equal up to this point, I think. I think it's all on Machine's shoulders. He's trying to trying to churn out as many Marauders as he can. Huck is playing the support role with the Infestors. I don't know. I just I I think Liquid's got a, a better comp right now. They do have a bit Battle of edge. Cruisers are actually going to be started soon. Uh, Bumblebee is starting his Starport, so I think he was just feeding for a while. Now he's got two Armories and three Starports on the way, and that's LZ be Game is about to go down though. Open. That's what I'm concerned about. LZ Gamer's getting pounded here, but actually, LZ, ne never mind. LZ Gamer has the gold right next to Bumblebee. Right. And Bumblebee, I don't think even I don't knows think about he's it yet. About his main. Yeah, and he's completely cannoned up in there as well, so things are looking good. Huck's infest account has got pretty high too, so things are looking nice for him. This is getting this is getting really nice for EG. Surprisingly enough, actually pulling back in this game, but still, look at Noni's Colossus count. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Once they start Colossus. adding battle cruisers to that too, like what's the counter to Colossus battle cruiser? Well, you can't do infest the Terrans in that mix because the infest the Terrans just get killed too quickly. So it's it comes down to the fact that Machine and Hook have really got to go kill Noni right now because if they don't, then the battle cruisers come out for the Colossus composition, and then what the hell do you do? Absolutely nothing. I guess they, they could try neural parasite. Hook's researching it now. Potentially. I don't know. I, I just, yeah, it seems so hard. And Sheth is going to have like a ton of zealots just in the comp as well. He's got charge down. He's researching uh, plus one armor. He's already got plus one attack, getting a second forge. So it's not like you need to be scared about the zealots, but it's just another factor that you need to defend against. And really, all EG has is these marauders. Yeah, and a lot of infestors from Huck as well. Right. Like, Huck's infestor cat has actually got to a very absurd degree. He's building five more as well, adding Evolution Chamber in there. But she's just trying to hold up, and honestly, like, this Colossus March is going to be the death of EG unless they can shut it down. A good stim. He doesn't... Oh, he doesn't even have plus upgrades there either, and nobody's on plus two, so things are looking very unpleasant there. TLO trying to, to keep this base up, but Machine just wants to try and take it out. It's bleeding now, but the Colossus count is really, really high, and it also comes down to the risk, I suppose, of Huck getting caught out with these Infestors. If he loses them, then that's it. There are three BCs at once coming out from Bumblebee right now. EG must kill Liquid now. No question. Girl Parasite is complete, but the problem is when you get those Infestors anywhere near those battle cruisers, there's just gonna be like, what, 20 Colossi running around? I don't think I've ever seen this many Colossi. Well, it is one of battles. There's Huck, and is there any oh section? There's actually God. no Observer. Oh, no, never mind. There is. No one's got two Observers with it. Huck is going to lose those Infestors if he's not careful. Thankfully, he doesn't die from them. There's the Stim, and Machine, unfortunately, has no way to fix that. That's the problem with Stim on these. Yamato Cannon coming right. out from Bumblebee. I mean, the Neural Parasite could work against them there. If he manages to Neural the Battle Cruiser, he could smash his way through the Colossus Scout, but it's look grim for EG. Maybe they've got enough Infestors. I mean, Huck's Infestor Cat is really silly, but... My god, that's a lot of Colossus. Oh, that's a lot of Infestors dying as well. Oh, there's an Observer, Huck! There's Huck. an Observer! Oh, <laughs> no! Huck loses all of them. Oh, oh, man. Everything goes down. Machine is the last stand. There's the GG. Marauders, that's it. It's not enough. No, it is not. Liquid takes it. That's it. Liquid wins by dice roll, I guess. But some really nice engagements <laughs> there. And... EG sadly not able to pull it back, looking unstoppable until that final game. Impressive play from both. Very fun, I've got to say, very fun. So random in random team mono battles. It's just how it is. You sign up for a random meet team mono battles tournament. You play the game of roles. You. <laughs> I guess you would, well, it's a, it's a very stupid thing to say. You play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. It's like, well, you play any game, you pretty much, you win or you lose. <laughs> what kind of profound statement is that, anyway? Ugh. Well, there you go. Liquid takes out. it in a display of blind luck, mostly. Luck? <laughs> mostly luck, yes. And unfortunately, it turns out that EG luck... <laughs> didn't get where it is. There was no it extended out, series, man. by the way. I told you, Huck, uh, yep. Huck tired himself out. Yep. 
He did. Those asking about extended series and double limb. Nope. We didn't do it. The justification being that in a tournament like this, when you're doing dice rolls, an extra match could actually mean all the difference. And I feel that going through an extra best of three with it being almost entirely down to chance is equal to any kind of extended series you would get. So, there you go. That's my argument there, as far as I'm concerned. But it also comes down to the fact that we didn't want to keep Hulk awake too long. And we also had to deal with the fact that we were about... We were about, in fact, to run into the South by Southwest. <laughs> so there you go. And I think it's, what is it, 6, 6.20 a.m. in Korea? So that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty late for Huck. Yep. That is, in fact, pretty late. So update on my poll, 89% say yes. 89%? Yeah, but it would be a shame if the tournament were to be marred by drama from freaking that decision. I mean, ugh. It was fun. All right. Well, I think I'm going to do what I know best, which is get out. <laughs> You're very good at that. You're well practiced. <laughs> So, I'm impressed. Congratulations. And congrats to... Thank you. Team Liquid, who walk away with 250 bucks each. Not bad for a day's work. Not bad they for They should day. give it all to Bumpy if they know what's good, what's good for them. It's true. MVP. Easy. Good for a... What is it? Yes, yeah, I don't even know. I, I was going to say something. I think it was funny, but I'm not entirely sure. That's it, folks. Thank you very much for watching this random Pro Mono Battles tournament, as ridiculous as it was. Congratulations to Liquid for their good rolls of the dice, and Noni for continuing to get Colossus, and no one really knows how that happened. But... <laughs> well, good work, go. Noni. Thank you very much. The proceeds for this tournament will be donated to charity, and we'll see you next time.